Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electrical Closet. Today we are comparing the cooling characteristics of the Shaped Media Machined Aluminum Passive Heatsink Cooler to the Active Cooler that comes on the XC4 by default. The first thing we needed to figure out was how to force all eight CPUs to 100% so that we could generate as much heat as possible and uh, then compared the performance. So we wrote a script that um, that tracks the CPU temperature and the clock speed of each CPU. And then we ran the sysbench command. So we're doing max prime up to 100,000, running eight threads. And uh, these are the results we got. So we have, uh, with the active cooler, the 1.4 gigahertz cores, which are the low power cores, never throttled. They always stayed at 1.4 gigahertz. But the two gigahertz cores would occasionally throttle down to 900 megahertz, which is what you're seeing here at the 0 0.9. Over the life of the test, it was uh, it averaged out to 1.32 gigahertz. Um, we kept in the last 10 readings after the test was complete to show the cool off characteristics with the active cooler. So uh, as you can see here, the test took 556 seconds to run on the active cooler minus the 10 seconds is about 546 plus there's an extra second at the beginning of the test that we used to show how fast the temperature rose so as you can see here it dropped from 93 to 85 to 79 really quick and then it got down to 68 celsius after about 10 seconds so um, we're looking at about 545 545 seconds on the active Cooler, and we'll also look at the um, also look at the beginning of the test. So at the beginning of the test, you can see here it went from 57 Celsius to 84 Celsius in one second, and after four seconds, it already throttled down to 900 megahertz on the active cooler, and uh, we had a fair amount of 900 megahertz events throughout there. Now we'll check it against the shaped media test. So the shaped media test had about 507 or 506 seconds. So that is compared to 546 on the active cooler. So as you can see already, it took less time in the shaped media case. So here we are, we're at uh, 556, so minus 10, 546. So 517 minus 10 is 507. We've gone from, at the end of the test, we dropped from 95 to 81 to 78 pretty quickly, and we're at 70 Celsius after 10 seconds. Now here's an important number. 1.56 was the average reading on the shaped media cooler case, while the active cooler averaged 1.32 gigahertz. So we'll check the beginning of the test as well and we'll see that it rose in temperature a lot slower than the active cooler. So we started out at 50 and it took us a full 11 seconds to get up to 95 but it still wasn't throttling. It didn't actually throttle until 22 seconds into the test as opposed to 4 seconds on the active cooler. Now again, we're only checking every second, so there could have been some period in here that was less than a second that it throttled down to 900 megahertz, but we can't see that. But it is quite obvious from the averages that, and also the total execution time, that the shaped media cooler ran quite a bit faster because it kept the CPU cooler. Now to the touch right now, it is relatively warm. Uh, this room here is uh, probably 27 Celsius right now, 26 Celsius maybe. 
so it, it is a little warm in this room as well so it isn't cooling this off as fast as it could be if it was a little cooler room but uh, yeah, you definitely can feel that there is some heat in this uh, relatively massive aluminum block that is the case that's it for today thanks